Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to this exciting video. Um, in this video, I'll be talking about how to withdraw Bitcoin from your Bitcoin account on the exchange, on Rain specifically, and into your bank account, right? So if you watch my previous video on how to open a Rain account and how to buy and purchase Bitcoin, how to buy Ether or any other cryptocurrency, in the previous videos, I explain how to make a purchase and how to assign the deposit amounts into your Rain account. Now, just to recap, Rain is a, a cryptocurrency exchange based in Bahrain and it's regulated by the Central Bank of Bahrain. Uh, this is why I use Rain specifically because they are heavily regulated and I know that they go through very strict regulation requirements and security requirements to maintain and the authenticity of their platform and specifically to maintain the integrity and security for their customers. They were, uh, Rain was the first um, regulated exchange, cryptocurrency exchange in the, in, in the Middle East and in the GCC. Uh, they received their license back in 2018, I believe, when they um, finished the program from the Central Bank of Bahrain's regulation sandbox. So um, today I'm gonna go show you how to withdraw. So let's say you have BTC units in your account in Rain, and I'm going to show you how to withdraw that into your local bank account. All right, so let's go ahead and begin. So first off, um, just to understand the model here, whenever you, let's say you put out, you have some, let's say 10 units of Bitcoin or five units of Bitcoin on your account, and you want to be able to sell it, you put it on the market for sale, so you, you what you do is you go ahead and sell those units into the marketplace, what is called the open market for cryptocurrency. And then when someone purchases uh, those Bitcoin units, uh, you receive the money into your account. Now it's very important to understand that what you receive is the money in your Rain account, which is under the Rain's bank account, but assigned to your user account on the Rain platform. So for example, if you sold one BTC unit or Bitcoin unit, for example, and uh, you receive, let's say, you know, what is it? What is it today? About um, uh, fourteen thousand BD, which is about what um, forty-five thousand dollars. So you receive that money into your Rain account, which is Rain's bank account, but assigned to your user account in Rain. Right? That's what that means. And what you want to do is you want to withdraw that amount from your Rain bank account, from your Rain account, into your local bank account. I'm just putting an example here, Emirates MBD. So if you're in the UAE, you'll be withdrawing the amount from your Rain from Rain's account in Bahrain and transfer it into your local bank account in the UAE, which is Emirates MBD. If you're in Saudi Arabia, it could be any of the local bank accounts in Saudi Arabia. If you're in Bahrain, it could be any of the local accounts in Bahrain. If you are in Kuwait, it can be any of the local bank accounts in Kuwait. It can be NBK or any of their local banks there, right? And um, uh, once you receive the amount, it will be directly deposited into your bank account. Now, a very important point here is, what are the charges? So whenever you sell your Bitcoin units or any other cryptocurrency in your account, Rain charges a 1.5% fee, right? One point, I'll show you that in the, in the application. So they charge a 1.5% fee um, on your sale. Whenever you're transferring the currency account from Rain's account into your local account, if your local bank account is in Bahrain, they don't charge you any withdrawal fees. If your local bank account is in Kuwait, they charge you 5 KD, Kuwaiti dinars. If it's Saudi Arabia, they charge you 50 Saudi Rials, right? So I'll mention all of that um, in the... Um, in the uh, when we do the demonstration here, okay? Uh, in the UAE, also they charge you 50 um, dirhams, UAE dirhams for them to transfer the amount from their account to your bank account. That's just the transfer fees between bank to bank, to bank right? So let's go ahead and continue here. I'll show you the... Um... So I'm gonna log into my account, to my Rain account. And so, see, so for example, here I've got a, um, what do I have? I've got like 72 BD worth of Bitcoin, 
in my Bitcoin account, which is around 0.0040770 Bitcoin balance, right? So what I'm going to do is I want to withdraw from this amount 50 BD worth of BTC. So 50 BD is about $120. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, I have to choose not withdraw the bank. I have to go, uh, first I have to sell my cryptocurrency, right? Uh, so step one, I have to go and sell my cryptocurrency right here. So I'm going to sell, see here gives me the option to sell. So I'm going to sell BHD worth, which is borrowing dinars worth. I'm going to sell 50 BD worth of Bitcoin, which is equivalent to 0.00285328, right? And um, I'm going to sell it. Uh, now it will take the amount from my BTC account, right? Whichever I have. And it's going to sell it into the Bitcoin open market or crypto open market uh, marketplace, right? And let's uh, ch ch uh, check this out here, right? This is the fee, what they charge here. This is the actual fee, right? So you have a fee, uh, that's the 1.5% minimum fee uh, is 500 fills, which is BHD currency. So for me to sell 50 BD worth of Bitcoin, they will charge me 0.761 fills, right? Which is the denomination, which is equivalent to cents in the US. So by rain dinars, you got a thousand fills equals to one BHD, uh, which is like in the US, one dollar is equal to a hundred um, cents, right? In Bahrain, it's a thousand. So a thousand fills is equal to one BHD. So they're charging me 761, which is about a dollar and probably 20 cents, right? If you do, for example, here, uh, BHD to US dollar. So one BHD is equal to 2.65 US dollars. So if I put uh, 0. Point, what was the amount here? 0. 0.761, 0. 0.761 to USD, which is equivalent to about two dollars, two dollars and two cents, right? So they're charging me two dollars, two dollars and two cents for me to make the transaction of selling 50 BD worth of Bitcoin, which is equivalent to 0. 0.00285328. Now here's the exchange rate. One BTC is equal to 17,770. BHD, right? It's a huge amount. Um, it, it, it actually went up in the last couple of days. So I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. So now it's going to be a confirmation amount, right? A confirmation amount. So my confirmation here is that please, I'm going to sell BTC 0.00285328, which is equivalent to 50 BHD worth of Bitcoin and um, which is processing time is going to be instant normally depends like six months ago this takes a, it takes about an hour maybe 45 minutes because the transaction volume was very low but now because there's such high transaction volumes in the marketplace so it's going to be very fast and uh, the subtotal is going to be 50 bd 0.761 which is their 1.5 percent fee the total is going to be 50 bd plus the 761 okay so let's see. So these are the sell fees, right? These are helpful hints. If you guys want to check this out when you make a transaction, uh, Rain charges a flat fee of 1.5% of transaction value for buys and sells, which is funded with the bank account and 4% of buys funded with a debit or credit card. What that means is I had a few people comment on the videos how much they charge for debit card. Yes, you can do it with a debit card, but they will charge you 4% fee, transaction fee, on that transaction. So if you do if you're transferring $100 worth, they will charge you $4 for Rain's transaction fee for credit cards or debit cards, right? So um, I will confirm the transaction. Okay, sold. You have successfully sold Bitcoin, right? So um, I sold now BTC 0 0.00285 and uh, 0 0.50, which is 50 BD worth. Source account, BTC account, destination account, BHD account. Processing time instant, date, today's date. Exchange rate 1 BTC is equal to 70,790 Bitcoin. Subtotal is 50.761. So they charge me 50.761, 50 BD 0.761, and that's the fee, right? 
Now I can go to account and uh, and check this out, right? So let me just. Okay, so um, let me just go to my account to see the transaction was successful. Now normally they would send you an email confirmation. So I'm going to go to account and let me see if my Bitcoin was deducted. Okay, so uh, perfect. So my BHD, my Bitcoin account was deducted. And now I have 21.892 um, BHD worth of Bitcoin in my Bitcoin account balance, right? Okay. And my BHD account, which is my Reigns account. Now this is my BHD account, right? Which is my Rain account, which is means that now I have 51 BD in my BHD account under Rain. Now what I can do is here here's when I can go and withdraw these funds. I can withdraw these funds back back to my local bank account. Now what this means is this BHD amount is actually the amount I have in Rain's bank account under my username in Rain. I hope that makes sense, right? So this 51 BD again, this 51 BD BHD about amount is under Rain's account, which is registered under my username in Rain's account. So now I'm going to withdraw from this account to my local bank account, as we said earlier, which is my local bank in Bahrain. So in Bahrain, it's going to be any of the local banks. I'm going to transfer, for example, 51 BD, or let's say 50 BD from the rain account into my local bank account and I'm, I'm not sure how long it takes depending I think it should be instant because I'm based in Bahrain and rain's account is in Bahrain so it should be pretty instantaneous but let's see how that works so here's what I'm going to do I'm gonna go and go ahead and deposit I'm gonna go with withdraw so I so I go from here and I go withdraw to bank So I put the amount, how much I want to be able. So this is my account in Rain. I've got 51 BD worth. So I'm gonna go ahead and put 50, I want to withdraw 50 BD, BHD, which is about $120, into my local bank bank account in Bahrain. Now I've got two banks associated associated with my Rain account, right? I've got two banks. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use one of the banks here. So this is the one that I'm gonna choose BBK, and now it's going to send me the amount 50 BD into my local bank account in Bahrain. I'm not sure how long it takes. We're going to find out now. So this is another confirmation that this is a confirmation message. Uh, just to confirm that I want to be able to withdraw 50 BD fiat currency from my account in Rain into my destination account in Bahrain, BBK. And it's processed. To, okay, here's what it says. Processing time is going to take one to eight business days, right? One to eight business days means like working days. Now, I've done this in the past, and because I'm in Bahrain, it took one day for them to process it. And normally, if you make the transaction, the withdrawal in the morning, like from anywhere between 8 a.m. up to about 2 p.m., it should be. In your bank account by by later in that day uh, by midnight or the following morning now last time I did it it took about one one working day for it to transfer in the GCC countries uh, let's say if you're in the UAE I, I know I have friends in the in, in Saudi Arabia which they did the transaction they, and it took them two days maximum for them to receive the amount but I'm guess this is just a buffer right now keep in mind if there's a national holiday in between if there's a weekend in between it will cover it will transfer after the weekend right so if you want to transfer the amount let's say on a Thursday and because you, know, you know in the in the GC's countries the last working day is Thursday you will receive the amount Sunday the following working day so just keep that in mind if you want to have immediate access to your accounts it will take the next business if there's a national holiday in between like Eid break or any kind of national you know holiday in between it will you will receive the amount after the national holiday the next working day right so keep that amount uh, keep that and see in my fee here the transaction fee there's zero which means whenever I'm sending to my local bank account in Bahrain they don't charge me any fees so if your local bank account is in the UAE they will charge you 50 dirhams if your local bank account is in Saudi Arabia they will charge you um, what is it uh, 50 Saudi reals 
right? So I'm going to confirm this amount right now. Okay, so now they have a factor of um, uh, authentication. So I'm just going to put it right here. Let me just pause the video. They have two factors. I have two factor authentication enabled. So let me just put it right here. Okay, guys. So yeah, so I entered the um, two factor authentication. And now the um, amount has been the withdrawal process has started, which means that the transfer of funds from Rain's bank account into my local bank account in Bahrain has started. And now the funds will appear in your account within one to eight business days. We're going to see how long it takes until I receive it. Uh, once I do, I'm going to let you guys know. And there's a zero fee for receiving the amount into my bank account, right? <clears throat> so just keep this in mind. So if you guys want to avoid the charges of the um, uh, five B, uh, the 50 dirhams if you're in the UAE you can open a local account in Bahrain and you can have, you can have transfer all your bitcoins and cryptocurrency into your Bahrain account because they charge you nothing and then you can transfer that from your account in Bahrain to the UAE or if you just want to keep it if you want to use it here it depends on your preferences right okay guys so I, th I hope this clears the the video so just make sure the amount is high enough right Okay, great. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, I appreciate your time. Um, I put a link in the description below on if you guys want to open a link, uh, bank account or with Rain and you want to open a, uh, let's say, cryptocurrency, you can feel free to do so just to try things out. And just keep in mind, guys, that trading in cryptocurrency is highly risky, has a lot of risks. So please do your own research. You can start slow with small amounts and make sure that you invest amounts that you can afford to lose that if you lose those amounts, it will not impact your lifestyle or your family's lifestyle. That's very important. Just take it very, uh, uh, very cautiously. And I'm going to put a link in the description below for these uh, links here about the withdrawal fee charges as well. So I wish you guys to uh, invest safely and I wish you the very best. Thank you guys for watching. And if you do like this video, please hit the subscribe button. I'm going to be putting different videos on how to use uh, trading on cryptocurrencies, even for Ether and other cryptocurrencies using your RAIN account. All right. Thanks guys for watching. I'll see you guys next.